Okay, I'm gonna show you how to uh, get the the vocal situation that you want, and also use the musical typing, um, and also kind of show you what to do to connect your your piano to it if you have the right cables to the USB. Well, this is the opening project. I hope this is the version you have. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm just gonna click choose, and this pops up for me. Either plug in a mini keyboard or audio. Um, these are the two that I will usually use: is the software instrument or the microphone. Those are the two main things that I use. Now I'm now at this screen. Usually it would just be like this first. It might actually even be like this first. I always double click this to have my controls and you click on this to change your instruments. Uh, this thing on the top left. Now if you want your musical typing, um, you click window, you go to show musical typing and it comes up. For some reason it's not showing my audio. Um, it's not bringing my audio from uh, garage band onto this video but I assure you it's it is doing it now you could go through any of these synthesizers bells you could change your instrument and that's how you do the musical typing but when you have the keyboard connected to it by USB you could literally just click on the keys or, uh, and it'll it'll play now if you want to add a vocal track go up here to track click new track and then do the vocals and you could you could click on voice and it'll change the style of vocals it is some of them are a little bit more echoey uh, just do whatever you feel is is right for you and also if you want to add a song to your list or to it you could go to this top right and it brings up a bunch of files you could either do it that way which you, you just click on it drag it and there it is but you could also do it this way by just finding the file and holding on to it and bringing it over for some reason it says that it does not exist but that's okay um, and that wasn't even the okay you're funny but anyway that's how you would do that and to record your vocals just have your microphone plugged in either click the record button or press R and you'll see the waves. See, and then there's the vocals. And if you want to put auto tune on it, double click, uh, double click it, then go to track, and then um, pitch correction. That is the Garage Band auto tune. You could click limit to key to make it like forceful in the key that you're in. And then also. If you want to have the exact, like, if you want to do some vocal layering, or you want to just do, a, you want to record a verse, and then you want to record the chorus after that, if you want to have the same vocal effects that you've already used, right-click, and then click New Track with Duplicate Settings. Now, on a MacBook Pro, I believe, you have to put two fingers on the trackpad and click them down to do a uh, right-click, if I'm not mistaken. Um... But yeah, you click it and then do new new track and it'll do the exact same thing. And that's the same with the software instruments. You see it's a, a Shrema bell right now. You click on new with duplicate settings and it'll come up the exact same thing. So I hope that helps in any way. Uh, bye!